G'day ladies and gents, and welcome back to War Thunder. Uh, I'd like to thank you guys for being patient with me while I've had that sort of little dip in content. I've only uploaded, I think it's one video in the month of February so far, um, and it has been kind of, uh, I don't know, I, I have been a little bit more disenchanted with War Thunder as of late, and that's likely due to the battle rating changes which I made like three or four videos on, uh, and I feel extremely strongly about. Now, this particular video is going to be sort of setting that all aside, and I understand that there are issues, and it does piss me off, but uh, this video I really want to show you a game that I played in the F-104S, and it kind of, I don't know, there's something wrong with jets at the moment, It something doesn't feel right, um, and I think that's down to the average player just sort of not playing right. Um, I think there are several things that are just really indicative of a lot of people either not understanding how they should be flying their planes or doing stupid things and expecting to get away with it. Now the F-104S is by far not an easy plane to play. It is extremely quick, lacks the turning capability, but if you have say an F-4 or a MiG-21 BIS sitting on your ass, you are going to have a lot of trouble shaking them off unless you have some friendlies around. On top of that, you only get AIM-9Bs and you only get two AIM-7Es. Now I do say only, uh, but I really think the AIM-7Es make this plane a lot better than it was originally when it came to the game with just the AIM-9Bs. Uh, and I would still highly recommend taking the AIM-9Bs with you uh, just to, you know, give you a little bit more extra firepower. You know, the Vulcan does have some good range. I would fire it at about 1.5 kilometers if your opponent is heading away from you at, like, say, Mark 0.9 or Mark 1. Um, but the missiles just give you that little bit more range, uh, a little bit more devastation, um, and they also don't require you to go out of your way for an opponent, as you'll see in uh, this particular match. I think this is the perfect match to sort of demonstrate the F-104S, uh, but it's also something, like I said, to sort of let people know that there are things that are better than what's currently being done uh, by the average member of the community. I'm not saying that everyone does this, uh, but I have found this to be a little bit more common as of late, and I I can't think, figure out why, and it's really, really bothering me. Not only that, but I have seen it filtered down into the lower tier jets, where people are getting uh, very aggressive, very sort of, like, I don't know what to, what to describe it as. Anyway, I've found myself a target on the radar, I've locked him on, and I'm using the AIM-7 Notice the little uh, ring, the outer ring on that uh, AIM-7 just before I fired it on the radar. Uh, that indicates the range of the missile, and the lock indicates the patency, uh, or, or indicates that I've actually got one, and there I go, nice easy kill on an F-4C, uh, who was going out of the way to dodge, and this is one of the things that the uh, F-104S is uh, really, really good at. It's good at surprising phantoms, who are normally used to having a, an altitude dominance, where you don't really get to, or you can sort of disrupt it in this thing. So, next target here, and the first real rookie mistake I'm seeing, this F4E here has decided not to go for me. And now, that leaves him open if I had R60s or AIM-9Js, that would have left him open. And this guy as well also leaves himself very open and very slow, uh, allowing me to get a gun kill. This is practically unheard of in uh, top tier. I mean, it happens, especially if you stock, but if you're not stock, if you have all the missiles you could want, uh, very, very rarely happens. Another full commit head-on with this F4C, as in the F4C full commits me. Uh, and now I make a little bit of a rookie mistake here. I launch an AIM-9B when I probably shouldn't have. You can see it's doing like a little Kanser Driftu, um, but it's not going to land a target. Now I see an F1 above me who is heading straight for me. Now what I'm going to do in order to break any missile lock that he may have, I'm going to head up towards him, and then I'm going to head out, because if the F1 is turning, he's bled all of his speed, and now I have kept enough speed to sort of jet away, leaving the F1 in a precarious position, because he doesn't pick up speed very quickly. He needs to make sure that that MiG-21 BIS is not going to be riding his ass, and lo and behold, I think we have the F1 uh, sort of realizing that and deciding to stay low. Here comes the next mistake, F4C pitching straight up for a MiG-21, not even looking around, I've seen this happen a few times, uh, and like I said, I'm not going to dedicate guns to it, I'm going to go for the F4E in the distance, I'm going to dedicate a missile because I know he's slow enough and I know I'm going to be getting it. I'm also confident that the MiG-21 is going to clean up that F1 without a problem, just because the F1 doesn't really have great power to wait and is also on fire. So 
Our next victim here is an F4E. The F4E sees me at about, what, three kilometers and then goes for the head-on. Uh, incredibly stupid move here, going for that head-on. He shouldn't have taken it. You should just go away if you're going to be doing something like that. It's not wise at all. And now he's coming for the even stupider move where he's going to put himself in front of the MiG-21 and at the same time pitch up again for me whilst he's got a damaged plane. I'm going to uh, prep a missile, but it looks like he's at an angle where it's a little bit too much for missiles. I go for the gun kill and voila, very easy gun kill. This guy's basically played right into my hands and... There's not a whole lot that he, uh, you know, could have done in that situation. He shouldn't have put himself in that situation. I would have basically run straight forward. Now, this particular guy here, I, I have to say, this guy does a really remarkable job of uh, staying alive for as long as he did. This is an F-104J, I think, and from what I can tell in chat is his stock. So, he's got himself a kill, which is pretty good for a stock jet at top tier in a full up tier. Um, that is a really good achievement, so check this out. Can you see that he's using the terrain a little bit carefully there? He's sort of looking at the mountain top to make sure that I'm spotted, and then he dips below the mountain just as I get in missile range there, just within that missile range, and he pops out at an angle that is just too hard for me to follow. He's also a little bit slow, but there's really not much you can do in an F-104J against an F-104S. Uh, you can turn against them, but then in this case, you've got the MiG-21 coming up right up behind you. The MiG-21 launches a missile, and then watch this. The F-104 is basically a flying rocket with a little couple of little stubby wings on the end, uh, and he's used that to his advantage. He's basically rolled out of the way of the missile. Very, very clever use, and this particular guy deserves all the commendations that he can get for the situation. However, it is going to be a very short-lived sort of little victory that he's had there. He's going to put himself out as low as he can to increase his airspeed, but it's really not going to be enough. Maybe he can get some separation between me and the MiG-21, but I don't think he's fast enough. Not only that, but I've got a missile, and what I'm going to do is I'm not going to spend it now. I'm going to get within about 1.5, 1.3, and then maybe launch it there. Um, I'm really trying to avoid wasting the missile. Maybe wait for him to black out, maybe wait for him to start a little turn like that where he's going to be bleeding a bit of speed, and boom, I get that missile kill. I, I don't know, I, maybe he gave up. And I, I genuinely feel sorry for the guy, um, but he put up an excellent fight given the harsh situation. Anyway, ladies and gents, this is the kind of stuff that I've found in a lot of my matches, particularly playing the F-104S, a lot of Phantom pilots are just throwing away their planes. Now, I will say that if you do throw your plane away, like commit to a head-on, uh, spam all your missiles, do dumb shit like that, uh, I don't think you deserve to complain about repair costs, because you're putting your plane in a situation where it's not meant to be. It's basically like mowing the lawn in the P-47D, and then complaining why you get shot down by BF 109s all day and why you're losing Silver Lions. It's because you're playing like a fucking moron and you need to really stop and take a look at yourself if you are playing like this. Climb, play strategically, don't waste your plane, and you might actually see an increase in Silver Lions. Anyway, ladies and gents, that'll do it for today. Um, I'd like you to check the description for some new merch. I want to put it on trial. A couple of people have already bought it, but um, thank you to those that have. I'll list some more details in the comments, but take care, and I'll catch you next time.